Dust motes danced in the weak morning light. Everything was silent except for the whisper of wind through shattered windows. Another day in hell. I clutched the rusty pipe tighter, my only companion in this desolate world. Fear, a constant companion, gnawed at my insides. It never truly went away, just dulled with exhaustion. My stomach growled, a reminder of the dwindling supplies. I had to find food, water, anything to keep going. But the thought of venturing out, of facing them again, it filled me with dread. Yet staying put meant certain death, a slow, agonizing death. The choice was clear, even if it made my blood run cold. The air hung heavy, thick with the stench of decay. Every shadow seemed to writhe. Every corner held the potential for horror. I moved like a ghost, careful not to make a sound. They were drawn to sound, drawn to life, drawn to me. Hope, that flickering flame, kept me moving. Each step was a victory, a testament to my will to survive. The silence inside was unnerving. I strained to hear over the pounding of my own heart, movement in the aisles. I froze, my breath catching in my throat, one of them. I could feel its hunger, its relentless pursuit. No time for fear, only action. I fought with a ferocity born of desperation. Each swing of the pipe was a prayer, a plea for survival. Their moans, those guttural sounds of hunger, tore through me. It was hard not to see them for what they once were. Their faces, twisted in grotesque parodies of life, still held echoes of humanity. A mother pushing a shopping cart, a child clutching a teddy bear, now just empty shells driven by a single consuming hunger. The guilt was a heavy weight, a constant reminder of the world we lost. But I had to survive. To honour those lost, I had to keep fighting. Each fallen monster was a victory, a chance to see another sunrise, even if it meant becoming a monster myself. It dropped to the ground, still, but I knew better than to hesitate. The double tap. Grim necessity. I raised the pipe again, aiming for the space where its life force once resided. It was never easy. Taking a life, even one so far gone, left its mark. But the alternative was unthinkable. To hesitate to show mercy was to invite my own demise. In this new world, there were no second chances. Each kill hardened me, chipped away at the person I once was. Survival came at a cost, a heavy price paid in blood and guilt. But it was a price I was willing to pay. To survive, to keep the memory of the old world alive, I would shoulder the burden. Exhaustion tugged at me, begged me to rest, but I knew better than to let my guard down. Danger lurked around every corner, behind every shattered window. The moment I relaxed, the moment I let my guard down could be my last. Paranoia was a survival trait in this new world. Trust was a luxury I could no longer afford. Every shadow, every creak of the floorboards sent my heart racing. Sleep, when it came, was filled with nightmares. Visions of the fallen, of the world consumed. But even in the darkest hours, a flicker of hope remained. The will to survive, to rebuild, burned bright within me. As long as that fire remained, as long as I never gave up, there was a chance. A chance for a better tomorrow. A chance to honour the sacrifices of the fallen. The world had changed. It wasn't just the crumbling buildings, the empty streets, or the ever-present stench of decay. It was something deeper, a fundamental shift in the fabric of reality. The line between life and death had blurred, the rules rewritten in blood and terror. But even in this reshaped world, humanity endured, scattered and broken, clinging to the remnants of the past, but enduring nonetheless. And as long as there were survivors, there was hope. Hope that one day we could reclaim what was lost. For now, survival was the only goal. Every sunrise brought new challenges, new horrors to face. But it also brought a chance to fight back, to claw our way back from the brink. We were survivors, hardened by loss, tempered by fear, and we would not be broken. We would rebuild, we would survive. <laughs>